back to the next video in today's video i will show you how to do background operations in react native for ios i have already done a video for android so if you are curious you can watch that this is for ios only second thing is uh, you can uh, run this only on a real device it won't work on a simulator and the third important thing is uh, everything has to be in objective c or swift i'm using objective c because uh, the default react native template is in objective c or morely objective c plus plus but you can use swift as well it is impossible to use javascript as far as i am aware because the api is only available in objective c uh, but so yeah so what i am doing is that i am uh, running a background operation and if you don't know what background operation is like it is an operation which runs even if your app is completely closed even if it is not in foreground even if it is not in background that's fine but the only caveat is the os will decide when your background operation will run so if it is a crucial task which needs to be run immediately don't put it in background operations okay uh, so something like calling an api like a uh, which is not uh, which is of least uh, less importance to your app you can call that api sync your database or upload a file to a server those kind of operation you can do uh, the second important uh, thing is uh, uh, firstly what you will have to do is uh, you will have to go to your app rn app over here uh, make sure you are at least uh, using ios 13 uh, and here you will have to click on plus capability add background modes and check background fetch as well as background processing once that is done you will have to go to info.plist and here you will have to add this bg task scheduler permitted identifiers and here uh, this is my task id now this can be anything what i have done is that i have used my bundle identifier dot background task and same task id you will have to use it inside over here okay so whatever you use, use, use it inside your info.plist if you want to see how this looks like in property list so this is something like this permitted background task scheduler identifier and add your task id and here i have imported background task and i have added my uh, task id over here next you will have to go to objective like app delegate dot mm file which is an object to c plus plus file and here you can use that see that i'm using this bg task scheduler and i'm registering our task with identifier and so i'm using our task id and i'm calling bg processing task now if you see bg processing task uh, it is used for long running operations so uh, running when the user device starts uh, okay where did it go so here you can see what processing task that can run for minutes so you can use bg processing task there is something called bg app request as well which i will show you in a bit but i think for most use cases bg processing task makes sense so i am calling this handle task and over here here you can write your actual bit of logic what you want to do i have kept it simple what i am doing is that i am using the ns user defaults which is kind of like async storage for storing key value data and i am uh, uh, like storing some uh, integer value to it and i'm just updating the count whenever our background operation is running and if you want you can add an expiration handler as well and once the task is complete completed i'm uh, marking it as uh, completed with success yes and here you also have to call this schedule method which i'm calling over here so if you see my schedule method i'm using bg task schedule task scheduler and i'm getting the pending task if the pending task uh, is greater than zero then i'm returning because there is uh, this task already pending from the os side if not then only i'm triggering this new task so what can happen is that suppose you open the app now and immediately after two minutes you reopen the app and the os uh, did not fire your uh, background operation so why to uh, ask the os to run to queue another background task uh, when the first background task itself hasn't fired so here also you have to set what uh, how in what time you want your background task to run so i have kept it as one day so this is in seconds so it's 6400 is seconds equal to one day now you might be uh, tempting uh, like it might be tempting for you to keep it as one second or 10 seconds but uh, trust me even if you keep it as 10 second it won't run it depends on the os so keep higher number as much as possible and also here you can use bg task scheduler so we are submitting our task okay and so this is about 
bg processing task now uh, let's look at another type of task as well but i think mostly you will use bg processing task only task is bg app refresh task and if you want to use that you will have to uh, refactor uh, instead of bg processing task you will have to make this as bg app refresh task rest of the code will remain same make sure you change it over here and here instead of bg processing task i had to use bg app refresh task request uh, yeah that's it now uh, suppose you are in development mode and you want to immediately check uh, if your task has been submitted or not so what you can do is you can add an uh, uh, breakpoint over here like uh, so add a breakpoint over here okay uh, add this big breakpoint and once you run your application on a real device you will see something like this uh, like this uh, lldb and here you can fire this command so um, i'll show you that command as well so if you see uh, this is the command uh, so so you will have to fire this command but make sure instead of task identifier you add your own task which uh, is over here uh, where did it go inside app delegate which you have written so you can fire something like this over here and that task will be immediately executed by the os but again this is only part of development if you are facing some issue make sure you comment this out and then try to update uh, try to rerun that command but you will need this command for development purpose in while deploying it to production sorry uh, so yeah make sure you have that also if you see when to use this bg app refresh task bg app refresh task it is mostly used to execute short refresh task so if it is a small task you can use bg app refresh but i think most of the time it's better to use bg processing task so yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. Bye.